Hello everyone, it's Steven Schleicher, and today I want to show you how to do an automatic dialogue replacement or automated dialogue replacement. It goes by so many different names, but what we're talking about is ADR, and I want to show you how you can do that in Adobe Premiere and Adobe Audition. So I've got this scene here, and this is not a scene that we are really concerned about the video quality, the lighting, any of that. We are specifically for this class looking at uh, audio replacement, audio dialogue replacement. So what we have here is we have a clip where the man is is saying, I've heard rumors really, well, speculations. Is it really that amazing? And I want to go in and I just want to replace this audio. Now I'm going to replace it with my voice. You might want to replace it with your voice or get the actor back in and have them do it as well. So there are a couple of ways that you could do this. You could take this clip and you could send it directly to Adobe Audition and then you could uh, line everything up and try to record something there. But I like starting in Adobe Premiere because it does one thing that I find very useful for someone who is doing ADR, and that is it gives you a countdown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set some in and out points. I'm going to set an in point right here and an out point right here. So I have a little bit of room at the beginning and end. And then all I need to do is activate this voiceover button right here and get ready to record my audio. Have you seen how complex it is? I've heard rumors, really. Well, well speculations. speculations. Is, is it, it really, really that amazing? amazing? Dude, it's beyond. And let's see how that turned out. I've, I've heard, heard rumors, rumors, really. Well, well speculations. speculations. Is, it, is really it really that amazing? That amazing? And if it doesn't line up, that is okay too, because I can simply delete it and do it again. Have you seen how complex it is? I've, I've heard, heard rumors, rumors really. really. Well, well speculations. speculations. Is, it, is really it really that amazing? That amazing? Dude, I've heard, I've heard rumors, rumors really. really. Well, speculations. speculations. Is, is it, it really, really that, amazing? that amazing? Dude. All right, and I think that that is pretty close. Uh, now, obviously, it is off and it's not the right voice and all those other things. I'm using a different microphone. All of those things we can discuss at a different time, how to get better ADR, whether it's with someone else or whether it is with your actor at a different time. But right now, we need to align this perfectly. Now, I could, in Adobe Premiere, go into this audio track and I could slice this up and make little cuts here and there and line it up exactly with his voice but that might take a lot of time. There is maybe another way that you can do that, and that is by sending this selection over to Adobe Audition to do some automatic speech alignment. So let's do that. I'm gonna go over to my project, and I'm going to right-click and select Edit in Adobe Audition Sequence, and you can give it whatever name you have uh, that you wanna call it. And instead of using the entire sequence, I only want to use the sequence in and out points. I want to set this up as a dynamic link. And if there's effects or anything else that you have on here, you can send those as well. But we do want to open this in Adobe Audition. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it's going to say, hey, I've already done this before. Do you want to override it? Sure enough, let's do that. OK, here we are in Adobe Audition. And we have our project here. Now, it did import this in in the same position that it would be if we were um, if we had exported the entire sequence. But we only needed this one little bit and I don't need this audio or anything. I'm just concerned about the original audio track and the audio that I recorded to kind of help out. I'm going to trim up the audio just a little bit on both of these to get it aligned. You don't necessarily have to do this. Now, I don't know why this is. It's probably because I'm using an older computer for this, but I can't get my video to line up with the, uh, the original video. So if you look down here in the left-hand corner, you can see that everything is kind of aligned, but not quite. That's okay. All we're doing is going to use our ears to listen to this audio. And again, we can play this back. I've heard rumors, really. Well, speculations. Is it really that amazing? As you can tell, the audio doesn't line up at all. And this is where the magic of Adobe Audition comes in. Again, I, I use that. Maybe I should use some jazz hands or something like that to distract you. 
because this isn't perfect. This is not a perfect solution, but it is one that works. And what I'm going to end up using is a clip effect called automatic speech alignment. Now, what automatic speech alignment does is it attempts to squash and stretch the audio in order to get it to line up as close as it can to the reference track, in this case, the original speaker, and, uh, and try to get everything as close as it possibly can. Will it do it? Let's find out. In order to get this to work correctly, we have to select both tracks in our timeline. We go up to Clip, Automatic Speech Alignment. The first thing it's going to ask is for us to select our reference clip. And because I selected that first, it automatically shows up. But it could show up as your uh, ADR track. All you have to do is select the correct reference track. And then it will automatically select the unaligned clip as your ADR track. And it's going to ask you what channel that you are recording in. This was recorded in stereo, so really the left channel is the one that I should be using. Uh, although if we had a right channel, you could choose the right channel as well. The next thing that we need to look at is the alignment. And it's going to uh, be smoothest stretching, tightest alignment, balance alignment, and stretching. The balanced and alignment and stretching is a good place to start. That is typically the default for this system. And uh, then we can select add aligned uh, clip to a new track. And if we hit OK, it's going to attempt to align everything together. And I can see almost right away that it does a pretty good job, but it's not quite there. Let's take a listen. I'm going to mute this and let's just listen to the reference track and the adjusted track. And we can tell that it's the adjusted track because right here it says it's our audio track aligned. I've heard rumors, really. Well, speculations. Is it really, really that amazing? amazing? That's pretty good. That's not bad. That's not bad, actually. Let's undo this. And then I'm going to just do this one more time. Let's try a different one of these. And let's select uh, tightest alignment and hit OK. And this one still looks pretty good as well. I think probably any of these are going to yield the exact same results. I've heard, I've heard rumors, rumors, really. Well, speculations. speculations. Is, is it really, really that amazing? amazing? That one actually lines up a lot better than one of the other ones that we have seen. I've heard rumors, really. Well, speculations. Is, is it really that amazing? Now that we're satisfied with the adjustments, and believe me, you can tweak around with this a whole lot more than I would encourage you to do so. But if you're satisfied with the results, I'm just going to mute the unwanted tracks, or really, I could just delete them out of here. I'm going to go up to File, Export. Export to Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, leave it with these defaults, you know, give it whatever name you want it to be, documents, whatever. Uh, but I do want to open this back up in Adobe Premiere. I'm going to export it. Yes, I'm going to overwrite the things that I've already done. OK, back in Premiere, it's going to ask us, hey, do we want to put this in a new audio track or where do we want to put this? I want to just put this in track three. So from this drop down, I'm going to just select track three, hit OK, and there it is. Now, certainly I can just take this and trim this all the way down. I don't need both tracks either, but I've got my new audio track down here uh, that's ready to go. And I can just solo this track and give it a listen. I've heard rumors, really. Well, speculations. Is it really that amazing? Yeah, I think that works. So there you go. That is the process to do your uh, ADR replacement starting in Premiere sending out to Adobe Audition, where again, you can tweak it, you can refine it, you can put your EQ, whatever else you need to do to it, and then send that file back to Premiere and have a perfectly dialogue uh, replacement uh, project. I know that's kind of quick, but if you have any questions, please let me know. And until next time, take care.